Next, let's practice your workflow. We'll learn how to manage contacts and business deals so you can get in the routine of doing so. More specifically, in this section of the course, we'll define your leads, people, and companies, move an opportunity through the pipeline, and work with projects and tasks. This section will center around records. I'll use this term a lot throughout the rest of the course, so let's make sure we're on the same page about our definition of records. Records are the pieces of information you store and move through Copper. These include leads, people, companies, opportunities, projects, and tasks. Let's explore these concepts in more detail. If these names don't match your business terms, you can rename the records to suit your preferences. For example, you might call leads prospects or companies might be your vendors. It's up to you how you wanna rename them. Leads, people, companies, and opportunities are central to a sales process. Leads are potential business, like a business card. You and the lead haven't decided if it's mutually beneficial to pursue a business deal. The process of evaluating a lead to decide if it's mutually beneficial to do business together is known as qualifying the lead. People are converted from a qualified lead or added because you wanna pursue a business deal. They represent the individuals associated with that deal. Some of you may go straight to adding contacts as people into your system rather than starting by adding them as leads and converting them later. The question is whether you and your contact need to mutually decide if it's beneficial to pursue business. If you're adding contacts you're already conducting a business deal with, then you can just add them as people. Companies are the company associated with a person. If you're business to business, your person will be a contact at the company you're doing business with. Not everyone will use companies. You'll use them if it's relevant to your business to add this type of context to your people records as companies relate directly to people. Opportunities are a value-based sale or business transaction, which is moved through stages known as a pipeline. Not everyone will use opportunities either. Some of you might be using Copper just for contact management rather than tracking a process or a series of steps. Here's a visualization of how these record types relate to one another. Earlier, I mentioned you might be a sales development rep whose job it is to qualify a lead. Once you qualify it, you convert it into a person record, which an account executive can then take ownership of and nurture from there. Here we can see that once you qualify the lead, you'll convert that lead in one of four ways. You'll always convert a lead into a person record. That person might have a company attached to it if you're a B2B business. It might have an opportunity attached to it if you're going to enter a business deal or process through a pipeline. Or it might have both a company and an opportunity attached to it.